And now I bring you a long hadith by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which came in Bukhari and Muslim. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, on the day of judgment, you will reach a position of misery. People will be miserable. People will, some of them will be saddened. People would have given up hope in some ways. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the long hadith. The people will gather each other and they will begin to question what's going to happen to us. And so they will remember the prophets. Let's go to the prophets and ask them to intercede for us so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can begin the judgment, the hisab. He said, I had a dua. Prophet said, in this life I had a dua. And this dua, I kept it. Whereas every other prophet was given their dua which they asked for. As for my dua which I kept specific for me, was that, oh Allah, save my ummah on the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Asa rabbuka an yaba'athaka maqaman mahmooda. Behold, your Lord may raise you a beautiful raising on the day of judgment. What is that? It is the raising of the intercession. And this is the way it will go. He said, the people will go to Adam alayhi salam. And they will say to him, Ya Adam, Anta Abu al-Bashar. You are the father of all mankind. You are our father. Allah created you with his hands. Please intercede for us on this day. And then Adam alayhi salam will say, Ilaykum anni, ilaykum anni. Go away from me. Please go away from me. Inni akhafu mithla alladhi takhafu. I fear the same thing you are fearing. Inni asaytu rabbi. I disobeyed my Lord once. Inna rabbi qad ghadiba ghadaban lam yaghdab mithlahu qad. Today, my Lord is in a state of anger, which he has never been angry like this before. Go to the one who is after me. So we go to Nuh alayhi salam. And we say, Ya Nuh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you. You are the second father of mankind. Intercede for us for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to begin the judgment. And then Nuh alayhi salam will say the same thing. Ilaykum anni, ilaykum anni. Go away from me, go away from me. I fear the same thing you are fearing. I made my dua upon my people. My Lord is angry in a state where he has never been angry like this before. Go to the one after me. Go to the one after me. And another hadith, he says, Lastu laha, lastu laha. I am not qualified for it. I am not qualified for it. So then we go to the next prophets. Till we reach Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Ibrahim alayhi salam on that day would also respond in the same way. And he will say, Ilaykum anni, Ilaykum anni. Please, turn away from me, turn away from me. Inna Rabbi qad ghadiba ghadaban lam yaghdab mithlahu qat. My Lord is in a state of anger which has never been angry like this before. Go, I am not qualified for it. Lastu laha. Go to the one after me. We keep going from prophet to prophet. This is all the Muslims and all the disbelievers, everyone. So then we go finally to Musa alayhi salam. And Musa alayhi salam responds in the same way. He said, then we go to Isa alayhi salam. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, responds in the same way. And he adds, the people took me as a God. Therefore, today I am not qualified to face my Lord. How am I supposed to face him? I've got an answer to this. I've got something I have to answer to. The people took me as a God. Go to the one after me. I am not qualified for it. Finally, we reached Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, this is what I have been favored with on that day. That I will be given an intercession for you people. And the only intercession I will be given for is for my ummah, for only for my nation who followed me. As for the rest of the nations, they will have to go behind their prophets, behind their imams. And everyone else who was this believer will go behind whoever they used to follow. So whoever their authority was, the angels will say, go to whoever you used to follow. Ar Rasul Sallallahu says, when the people come to me and they say, please, Ishfa lana, intercede for us for the judgment to begin, I will call out on that day and say, Ana laha, Ana laha. I am the one qualified for this. I am the one qualified for this today. He says, Thumma asjudu li rabbi sajda. I, I, I prostrate to my Lord such a prostration, so prolonged. Only Allah knows how long, Masha Allah and Asjud, as long as Allah wills for me to make sujood. And I call out to Allah in such a dua that I've never called out before 
in my life. I've never used these words in praising him and calling out to him in my sujood. And then my ummah who followed me in my sunnah and never violated my sunnah, and never innovated my sunnah in my sunnah, never changed, tried their best to follow me sincerely, they will prostrate behind me. A caller will call out, prostrate down to your Lord. Allah says in the Quran, يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقٍ إِلَى السُّجُودِ On that day, a saq will be revealed. What is this saq? What is the true nature of this saq? Allah only knows. In Muslim, the book of Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ says, My Lord reveals his saq. Only Allah knows the nature of this saq. لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَنِيِ الْبَصِيرِ there is nothing like unto him and he hears all things and sees all things. So we will not dwell into the description of this reality called as -Saq. The Muslims, the believers will see it and then they will be called to prostrate. So then, bi-idhnillah, we prostrate. Except for the hypocrites. Allah says, فَلَا يَسْتَطِعُونَ They will not be able to prostrate and the disbelievers will not be able to prostrate. And a caller will say, go to whomever you used to follow. And so they go looking for their lords or their authority. And they are forced to stand behind their authorities. Allah says in the Quran, يَوْمَ يُدْعَى كُلُّ إِنَاسٍ بِإِمَامِهِمْ Every people will be called with their leaders. So whoever you used to follow today as your leader, whoever's words were on top of the words of Allah or the words of the Prophet Muhammad that will be your leader on that day and you'll be gathered behind them. Allah says in the Quran, إِذْ تَبَرَّأَ الَّذِينَ اتُّبِعُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوا وَرَأَوُ الْعَذَابِ وَتَقَطَّعَتْ بِهِمُ الْأَسْبَابِ On that day, those who, used to, who were followed in this life, they will bear innocence from those who followed them. And all reasons are cut off. All excuses are no longer accepted. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوا وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوا لَوْ أَنَّ لَنَا كَرَّةً فَنَتَبَرَّأَ مِنْهُمْ كَمَا تَبَرَّأُوا مِنَّا كَذَلِكَ يُرِيهِمُ اللَّهُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ حَسَرَاتٍ عَلَيْهِمْ وَمَا هُمْ بِخَارِجِينَ مِنَ النَّارِ He said those who followed the wrong people. On that day they will say, I wish that we can be given life again so that we can change our course and today we can be innocent from them the way that now they are saying they are innocent from us. You see, the leaders, the people who said, follow me, and you followed them, you will all be enemies to one another, you see. And Allah says in the Quran, al the best friends in this life, al the best friends ever in this life. You know, when you have your best friend, you will shed your blood in their protection. In their defense, yes, those are the best friends Allah is talking about. On that day, there will be the worst enemies. You know, the enemy you want to kill, that's how the closest friends will be the worst enemies on that day. Except those who are muttaqeen, who advised one another to protect themselves from sins. You know, best friends in this life who remind you of Allah, remind you of Jannah, of Hellfire, help you in the right way, remind you about the sins, right? Praise you when you do good, advise you when you do bad. These are the proper friends. Choose your friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Al Rasul Sallallahu said, Al Mar'u ala dini khalili. Every person will be on the way, on the religion of their best friend. Falyahdar ahadukum man yukhalil. Every one of you should monitor and beware who they choose as their companion in this life. You know, your companion, the one who you always spend time with. On that day, you'll be the best friends or the worst enemies. Each one will blame the other person. It's your fault. He will say, no, it's your fault. You saw me do this and you didn't prevent me. You saw me and he'll say, well, I saw you do that and you didn't. I, I did this and you didn't prevent me. You didn't tell me. It's your fault. Everyone will be blaming the other. And Allah will say, don't blame each other. You both were warned. You both were given the warnings, but today there is no room. So this is what happened to the rest of the people. 